So this video is all about email marketing. And uh, let me just start by saying this. Email marketing has absolutely evolved since I first came online. I, I mean, I, I remember when I first started, there really wasn't much sophistication to what you could do out there. Uh, you could basically just send emails to the people that were on any particular list or in any particular autoresponder. But today you can do so much more. And it's so exciting as a marketer to be able to do this sort of stuff. And it all boils down to what's called segmentation. And so let me first just explain what segmentation is before I get a little bit deeper into this. Um, and, and just in terms of an example and why it would be important. Let's say that you have a habit of sending out an email a day to your list. Hint, hint. And you share all sorts of cool stuff and resources that have to do with whatever niche you're in, right? And let's say you're in the online marketing niche, for instance. And one day you send out an email that's all about search engine optimization. And another day you send out an email that's all about maybe something like Facebook. Who knows? Well, how do you know who's interested in what? The, the answer to that is segmentation. So if you send out an email about search engine optimization, optimization for example, um, well, you can figure out who's interested in that topic by who opened that email or to a higher degree, who clicked a link to a resource or something that you might may have shared that had to do with that particular topic. And then what you can do is create a segment for that particular interest. So let's say in the future you have other cool things you want to share that have to do with search engine optimization. Well, you just send it to that group of people that you know are absolutely interested in that topic. So then you're very precise, laser targeted with what you're sending to who, uh, all the email ISPs love you, and your results are literally like through the roof. So in this video, what I want to do, and I'm just saying get response. Get Response is one of the autoresponders I use, and in terms of segmentation, I think it's one of the easiest to use. In this video, I just want to show you how to create uh, the two most basic type of uh, segments that you want to have on your list. Number one, that's opens. Number two, that's clicks. And so let me dig in and just show you how to create that segment. So on a daily basis, if you want to be sending emails to all the people that consistently open, here's how to create that segment for you to send those emails to. Once you've logged in, and this is going to be the same with most autoresponders that have this functionality, you go to search contacts. And then what you want to do is you want to choose the contacts, right? There's different selections. Just choose all to make it easy. Um, but, you know, all the different options are pretty self-explanatory. And then you want to choose the particular campaign. You can either choose all the different autoresponders you might have in your autoresponder account or one particular campaign, one particular autoresponder, one particular list, in other words. Uh, for this example, we'll just use the list in here. So this is a simple example. And if you want to create, let's say, for instance, a segment of openers, right? Well, what you would do is you would then go to name and you would go to last open date, last open date, and First off, there's lots of different choices in here. We'll dig into more of them later. But last open date, and then you would choose date is after. In terms of options here, you can choose date is after, date is before, or a very specific date. So that gives you a, a, a little bit of a, a highlight or a view into just how specific you can get here. But the reason you want to choose date is after is because it will represent everyone that has ever opened your emails if you set that date to a date that is either the day that you opened your autoresponder account before there were any subscribers or a date before that. So last open date, date is after. And then we would just choose a date. And we'll get into more you know, fancy stuff in just a minute. But date is after, and I don't think I've had this account since, let's say, August of last year. So let's choose that as a date. Forgot to click specific day. So click the specific day. And then once this uh, thing is done with all of its magic, it's going to tell me exactly how many prospects have opened. And we can see there that uh, on this list, 8,262 8, prospects have opened since August of uh, 2013. 
Now, if we want to be absolutely sure, I could go all the way back to January, right? And I could say January 1st, and it's going to do its thinking thing, and it's, we'll see if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Ah, I was right. Cool. So last thing you do to save this segment is you would just say opens. Give it a name, opens, save segment. Bada boom, bada bing. Now we've got a segment called openers. All right, now what if we wanted to do the same thing for clickers? So we would do the same thing. Last click date instead of open date. Last click date, date is after. And then again, it would be the same exact process. So. Once it's done thinking, it'll tell us how many people have clicked links. It should be fewer than the people that have uh, that have opened. But you know, it's, I'm actually pretty surprised at that number. That's a good number. More than half of the people that have opened emails for me have clicked links. That's pretty good. I'm a pretty good click getter. And then what I would do with this segment is I would just give it a different name. Actually, one thing I did wrong. Add a new segment. Click that first. And now let's go ahead and do it again. Last click date is date is after, and then you choose a date on or before when your first subscriber joins your list. And then you let the system do its magic. And then what we call this group is clickers or clicks. Let's just call it clicks. Click save. I guess I've already saved one. So let's just save it as something slightly different. And now we've got those two segments. So last part of this video is just how would you use this? And then we'll dig into deeper, more you know, fancy stuff in just a minute. But in terms of how you would use this is, let's say you wanted to send out a new broadcast message. So create a new newsletter. And I just want, let's say I just want to send it to the clickers, right? So let's choose one of my front lines there. Click tracking is on. The rest of the stuff doesn't matter for this. That's a discussion for another time. And we just start a new email from scratch. Create the email. All right, so that's my email, not much to it, but if we had a real email, of course there would be more, right? And then we go to next step. We would choose the list, right? Or we don't even have to choose the list, excuse me. All we have to do is choose the segment. So clickers. Again, let the thing do its little magic. And now if I was actually broadcast this message out, it would go to all the people that have ever clicked links in emails that I've sent, right? So that's basically how to use this. We just rinse and repeat for opens. And then you can start to see how you could do this in a more specific fashion for topical interests. But we'll get to that in a different video. First off, this is how to do this. This is why segmentation is powerful and important. So start segmenting and start thinking about how you can use different segments in your list um, to really laser target what you're doing with your marketing to, of course, increase your bottom line and um, the value that you end up delivering to your recipients. They'll start to say, imagine you send out an email to someone that doesn't even know that you're segmenting on a topic that they absolutely love, right? They'll say, how did, how did, how did he know? How did she know? Well, this is how you knew. All right, questions, comments, let me know. But uh, that's pretty much it.